and you can do just department IDs or you can do IDs and passwords. So probably we'll just we'll just set up some real simple ones here. Uh, we'll say one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think everyone can be under the same department as long as they can add in whatever number and, that they and, want. And then we'll say department two. Okay. We'll say department three, and I believe that's up to seven digits. We'll just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven digits. Okay. Okay. So now we've got. Uh, one, two, and three in, so we'll say done. Uh, you can allow printed jobs with unknown IDs, or you can actually lock that down to whoever prints to it has to enter an ID. And would that be entered in the print printer options under the printer driver on their machine or something? Uh, what will happen is when they send a print job, it'll prompt you for a password. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So it does have that capability, so we'll just say done, 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 and get out of all that. We'll hit the ID button a couple times now. To use this, we got, say, for example, we got department ID of one. We'll hit one in the ID. Okay, so then it logs to ID of one. Yep. yep, so we'll, we'll sign on as ID three. And so what we'll have to do then is put in IDs for like the client numbers that's set, set in digit IDs. That yeah, and it can be put one, one up as seven. So mm -hmm. you can actually go one, two, three, four, five, six. Or if your clients already have numbers. Yeah, yeah. So that's, okay. that's what it is, is that like it, it, it's based on the. Okay. So okay. It'd, it'd be like 11001 would be the first client that they got here. Okay. Right. And so then what would they'd have to do would be to come in and create a client ID mm -hmm. for each one that they want to do account on? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll sign off. We'll sign back on with our uh, master password here. And that'll let us get back into the traditional functions and the system settings. And then the department ID management, and now I can hit page tools. Yeah, we have one copy under one. one and I've made two copies under three. three. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, you and can if clear you the tables, or you can, you can print the list. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's see. And the machine's capable of all that. You can actually enter department IDs through the RUI of the PC. That's more convenient because to probably to get started, you're going to have a John Shumman to put in. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sure, or if they'll just want to come here and, and enter them in manually. So, what about making copies without uh, doing accounting? Should we just have like a one, two, three, and then we just drop everything that's related to one, two, three? Yeah. It, whenever it's set up this way, you have to have an ID, you must have an ID. each time you make a cop. Got it. And is there a number? Is there a limit of the number of apartment IDs that can be in the machine? I, I want to say 5,000. Oh, okay, that, okay, and they'll be building it as they're billing out to clients. I'm not going to put it in every single one. But okay. I, otherwise, it would be over 5,000 as far as how many matter numbers that we have. Okay. So. Less than if I clear the total, so it'll just clear the count. So, um, if we go back and in here, they'll just need to know. So, right now we're in system management mode. If I go into ID, we, how do we go back and start putting in more of those department IDs? Okay, you'd have to, have to enter the master password in both sources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're in some system mode. So if you have ID, 